Hi everyone, good morning, welcome on into North Dakota Today. Ray Wessel is a writer who specializes in empowering companies to expand their reach by enhancing their storytelling capabilities. As the founder and leader of the Institute for Thought Leadership, she joins us this morning with more on her mission to equip people with the tools to communicate in a digital age. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to have you join us. Yes, hi. I love the blue. We're very on vibe today. Yes, so, we are. Yeah, I love that. Okay, go ahead and let our audience know. Tell us about yourself and your journey to writing like a thought leader. Mm -hmm. Yes, my, my name is Ray Wessel, uh, born and raised in Texas and former journalist. And I began working with companies and realized that people need help to articulate their ideas in a way that makes them understandable and answers the problems of the audience. And I came up with my book, Write Like a Thought Leader, to help subject matter experts, no matter what their expertise, really reach the audience. So it's a methodology that I present. Okay, very interesting. So what are some of your strategies for storytelling? And I even was reading through a lot of your work. You encourage the use of AI and incorporating that in a digital age. So we'll kind of get into your ethical thought processes on that. But just in general, what are your strategies for storytelling? The, I, I think the, um, in the era, era or in the, when you're working in space of thought leadership, you've got to hook the audience with something that makes their brain go, oh, 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 I can get some help with a problem I have, a pressing problem. So you, you need a beginning hook. And in the end, you're framing the article like a journalist does. Mm. Now, a lot of subject matter experts have an academic background. So they take an academic approach and that's not what you want. You need a journalistic approach. You need to find that hook and frame it like, an, like a journalist. That's, those are the storytelling um, methodologies that I teach. So is that along the lines of your story framing system in order to kind of help elevate the presentation of those ideas? That is right. So the story framing system lines up the problem that the audience has with the expertise that you have as a thought leader, right? So you are serving your audience by giving away your knowledge for free and sharing your best ideas and you're building a community of people who look to you as the go-to expert. And you reach that position because you can tell it as a compelling story. You can boil down the complex. And um, yeah. Yeah. Is. It sounds incredibly important. Okay, and I really do want to pick your brain about this. So a big focus of yours is ethical uh, yet modern use of AI-powered writing. So many people scared of artificial intelligence and what it may mean for journalists or storytelling in general. But for you, it's pretty important. You want to explain that? Sure, sure. I think uh, when uh, working as a thought leader and writing in thought leadership style, I think you can use AI really uh, in a unique way to understand your audience better, to understand their pain points. So dig deep, uh, asking the probing questions in your prompts for AI to build a persona of your audience. And once you have that persona, then ask the AI, you know, what's on their mind, and you can go out there and see what your competitors are writing and more importantly you can use the AI for a gap analysis to see what they're not writing so mm -hmm. you ask the AI what your audience is missing mm -hmm. and then you aha that's what I need to be writing so that's a very unique way to use the AI to set up the stories Okay, interesting. And Ray, where do we go for more information? You can go to my website, the Institute for Thought Leadership .com. Check out my book, Write Like a Thought Leader, and message me on LinkedIn. We would love to hear from you. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you as well. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. All right, everybody at home, stick around. Plenty more coming up here on North Dakota Today after this break.